It was perhaps fitting that in the same week that Josiah Wedgwood was honoured by appearing on one of the new 50 pence stamps, the judges for the Arts Fund Prize would visit the museum that features some of his finest work. The judging panel for the £100,000 prize included Turner Prize winning artist who had been described as the David Beckham of the pottery world, as well as Oscar winning director Lord Putnam. So it's a vast collection, but it's also, I think, well, well chosen. It's also very well displayed. So it's very easy on the eye. The, the depth of the collection, the detail of the collection, uh, it's an extraordinarily comprehensive collection of, in a sense, one man's work or one man's influence. There is an extensive range of pottery and art on show spanning 250 years, from the Industrial Revolution all the way through to the digital age. You can even create an old Wedgwood star medallion on screen and then download it off the museum's website. The museum has some tough competition from nine other competitors around the UK, although the museum is the only nomination from Staffordshire and indeed the whole of the West Midlands. It's something the director of the museum is proud of. Somebody described it this week as being the Oscars in the museum world. So not only to be nominated but to actually have a visit by the judges is one of those things that all curators dream about. So what did the judges think? In the end, you know, it, it's a kind of totting up of all the kind of uh, emotional brownie points you get from each museum. It comes down to intuition and care and emotion in the end, you know. I'm, I, I'm not a great fan of kind of uh, measuring things. I think for me it will be like I loved that one and I didn't love the other ones quite so much. But this one I liked a lot. The museum will find out if it has made the shortlist of four during April with the winner announced in the middle of June. This is Tom Kingham for Staffs Live.